Good morning, guys. So um, we have um, I assigned questions one to seven last night for homework. Um, so I'm not going to do all of these questions. Um, I, I will now do kind of a, a few of these questions, um, kind of what I consider to be a kind of a fair cross section of the questions. Um, and I would encourage you guys to get into the habit of checking your answers at the back of the book. And then if you're if you just cannot get those answers, um, you then let me know and I will go through specific questions. Um, so as well as the ones that I consider to be a fair cross section. Um, so let's start with question one. Question one. And let's draw the picture. Now, in your leaving cert, you have to be very careful whenever you're writing down the question. In fact, I would discourage it most of the time um, because you could make an error when you're writing it down. Whereas if you work off the one that's in the in the book or in the paper, you're probably there obviously won't be a mistake in that. OK, so in the given triangle, state which of the ratios sine, cosine or tangent. So cosine there, that's what we would call cos and tangent there is tan. OK, so connect three, four and the angle A. So we're talking about this side here and we're talking about this side here and this angle here. OK, so if we're talking about that angle there, we call this side over here the opposite. And we call this side down here the adjacent. And we call this side here the hypotenuse. OK, it's the, it is the hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. So the what deals with the opposite and the adjacent? Well, it's going to be sine. So part one is sine. And I made a terrible mistake there. I acted like the engineer that I am and I used an uppercase S. Um, so in mathematics, we always use a lowercase s. Um, in computers, you probably have to put that in as a capital letter S because it's the start of a function or something like that. Okay, so we're going to talk about sine. Sine A is equal to 3 over 4. Sorry, that's completely wrong. Sorry, so you can see that the time at the moment is half past 10. <laughs> so um yeah big big mistake there um connects three four and the angle a so opposite and adjacent is tan so again it's lowercase t tan um tan a is equal to three over four right sorry about that um part two is four four five and the angle A. So that's the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So that's cosine. Cos of A is equal to 4 over 5. Now, how do I know that? OK, so I know that because of silly old Hitler couldn't advance his troops over Africa. OK, so silly old Hitler couldn't advance his troops over Africa. So um, his general was Rommel and I think Rommel was pushed back by Monty. OK, so it's um, sine. Sine theta is equal to O over H. Cos, there we go again with my engineering uppercase C. A over H and tan theta is equal to O over A. Um, right, so that's how I know that because um, we were talking about 4, 5 and A, it was adjacent hypotenuse and the and theta. So it's going to be cosine A over H. And then the last one then is, um, I've scribbled an awful lot on my triangle, it's 3, 5 and the angle A. So I'm talking about the opposite and the hypotenuse and the angle A, so it's going to be sine. It's a very fat pin. Um, there we go. So it's going to be sine. Um, sine A is equal to 3 over 5. Make sense? Hopefully. If it doesn't make sense um, and you need extra help on a particular thing, let me know, okay? There's no point sitting there getting more and more lost. Um, so please let me know on the chat on Microsoft Teams. 
Okay, so that's question one. Um, the next question I want to take a look at is question four. Question four. And so we are going with, um, again, a triangle. It looks like that, and the right angle is down here this time. Oh, nice, nicely done book. So they put the angle up there. A bit, contraven bit um, controversial, but anyway. 3, 13, okay. Now, <clears throat> find the value of A in the given right angle triangle. So find the value of A first of all. Okay, so find the value of A. Now, We have the two sides of a right angle triangle and we're looking for the third remaining side. So that's nothing to do with sine, cos and tan. That's straightforward Pythagoras. So we go to a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So therefore we have to label up our um, triangle. So I'm going to call this guy here a, b and c because c is across from the right angle. So I have a squared plus 3 squared equals the square root of 13 squared. Again, it's just a coincidence that my A, my A matched up with my A. Just a coincidence. It will not always be like that. Right, so I now have A squared equals um, 13 minus 9. Sorry, I've skipped loads of steps there, guys. Um, I'm dying to get into my bed. Um, a squared plus 9 is equal to 13. So a squared must equal to 13 minus 9. So a squared must equal to 4. a must equal to the square root of 4. a is equal to 2. We're okay with that? So a is 2. Okay, first job done. Hence, write down the value of sine b. So I'm now going to change this a up here. I'm going to change that into the number 2. Into the number 2. Right. Now, sine b. Sine b. Well, it's silly old Hitler couldn't advance his troops over Africa. Silly old Hitler couldn't advance his troops over Africa. So... Sine B, so we're talking about S, we're talking about sine, S for sine, so we're dealing with O over H. So we need to know what the H is, what the hypotenuse is, and we need to know what the opposite is. So let's draw our fraction line, and it's O over H. So what's the opposite of B? What's the opposite of the angle B? Well, I go through the triangle and I end up with this side here. So the opposite is the side that's not touching the angle that I'm talking about. So if I'm talking about the angle up here at B, the opposite must be 3. And we've already labelled um, this guy over here as being H. So we have root 13. So we now know sine B is equal to, so I can put that into my calculator, sine, sorry, I can put that into my calculator, sine 3 divided by square root of 13 is 0 0.83205. Maybe just take the first three decimal places. So sine b is equal to 0 0.832. Okay, the next thing we need to look at is cos of b or cosine b, and that's equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we're definitely going to have a fraction. And on the bottom, we're going to have root 13 because that's the hypotenuse. And the adjacent is this side here. That's the side that's touching B. That's not the hypotenuse. So that's the adjacent. So that must be 2 on top, which is equal to um, 2 divided by square root of 13 is uh, 0 0.555. So it's like a... Um, 0 0.555. Um, if any of you do 
engineering, you probably know what a 555 timer is, do you? Um, maybe. Um, or physics? Would you cover electronics and physics? Is that option still there? Um, anyway. <clears throat> now, next thing is tan B. So tan B, tan B equals, so it's opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is 3, and the adjacent to B is 2. So that's equal to 3 over 2, which is equal to 1.5. And we should know that by this stage um, just by knowing that 2 fits into 3 one and a half times. So that's question 4 done and now we'll take a look now at question 7. <clears throat> question 7 so tan a is equal to a half. Find the sine of a so that's a really nice question, okay? We really need to think about this, okay? So we're told that tan A is a half. So therefore, if I was to draw some right angle triangle, I know that if I call this angle down here A, well then because tan is equal to opposite over adjacent, I now know that that side must be one and that side must be two. And I'm looking for sine A but sine A is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. But I don't know what my hypotenuse is. But I do know this side and this side. So I can work out the length of the hypotenuse using whose theorem? Yeah, using Pythagoras' theorem. So I'm going to call that side there x. So x squared is equal to 1 squared plus 2 squared. So x squared equals the square root of 5. Sorry, x is equal to 5. Sorry about that, jumping the gun. Um, again, if you look at the clock, we're now approaching 11 o'clock. So it's, so it's 5 is x squared. So x is equal to the square root of 5. So that's the square root of 5. So now we can very easily say that sine of A is equal to the opposite, which is 1, all over the hypotenuse, which is the square root of 5. So sine A is equal to uh, 1 all over the square root of 5 equals SD 0 0.447. Um, yeah, nice. Okay, so that's how we do um, question seven, part one. And let's take a look at question seven, part two. So again, we're going to draw our right angle triangle, just any old right angle triangle will do. And we're told that cosine of B is two over five. So two over five, well, cosine, that's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. We're looking for tan, so we need to know this side here. To work out tan so we're talking about b there sorry so um opposite yeah so we need to know this side here so it's going to be x squared plus 2 squared equals 5 squared so x squared plus 4 equals 25 x squared equals 25 minus 4 x squared equals 21, x equals the square root of 21, x equals um, square root of 21 equals SD um, 4.58. So B for me, sorry, tan B is it? Tan B is equal to the opposite, which is 4.58, all over the adjacent, which is 2, which is... Um, 4.58 divided by 2, which is equal to 2.29. And I probably didn't need a calculator to do that, but anyway. Um, okay, so that was the homework for last night. Um, now, I need you guys to be really, really good at sine, cos, and tan. Okay? Um, it's like the averages in statistics. You know, the mean, mode, and median. Yeah, and the amount of time we spent on those last year, it needs to be the same when it comes to 
um, sine, cos and tan. Sorry, I'm also speaking to fifth years. So um, fifth years and sixth years here. So um, yeah, look guys, it's a really, really important um, chapter. It always comes up in the Leaving Cert and you need to be good at sine, cos and tan. Okay, there's some stuff in this chapter that's not so important, but sine, cos and tan is basically the, the blood and guts of this chapter. Um, so I don't want to move on from it. Um, really, I don't really want to move on from it. Um, yeah, so I'll leave the, I'll leave it there and Obviously, if you couldn't do those questions yesterday, have a go at them again today. If you could do them, um, if you could do them, um, you could have a go at eight, nine, and 10, I suppose. Yeah, so I'll give people a second chance to do that work. So basically your homework for tonight will be to finish the entire of page 531. Okay, because this stuff is so important. Okay, so I'll write that in the assignment anyway, but it's um, gonna be page 531, continue that off. So there's only gonna be one video today. I don't want to move on to new stuff just yet. Um, just make sure that you guys are good enough with this. Um, I was also talking to some of your colleagues today about, um, about um, tests. Okay, so um, I will be giving a test and I will be giving a test next. Now, don't worry, I will write all this in the assignment as well, but just in case some of you don't read it. Um, I will be giving a test probably next Friday. So not Friday coming, but Friday, um, Friday the 22nd of January. Okay, so that'll be kind of two weeks into remote learning. So that's Friday the 22nd of January. We will be, um, Friday the 22nd of January, yeah, there will be a test on trigonometry. And that will be hopefully everything up to, I aim to get up as far as, um, up as far as page 541. Okay, so I'm going to take my time on this. Right, I'm going to take my time on this um, chapter because it's remote learning and because I suppose you guys need to kind of, it's important that this chapter is done well. Um, is that okay then? So I'll see you guys again tomorrow and yeah, best of luck guys. Um, so see you tomorrow.